Greetings, beloved. Welcome again to At Home Restaurant with Michael Hall. Going to be making a real nice dish for you later today. Um, we've been at sea in the first couple of videos. We're heading back on land today. When I come back, I'll show you what I have lined up. I think you're going to enjoy it. Soon come. Let's take a look at what we're going to be working with today. Lots of ingredients. Um, let's have a look here in our bowl. We have here is um, some finely minced ginger and garlic. We have some ever-present scotch bonnet peppers. A couple of other cloves of garlic there. Thyme. Rosemary. Cilantro. Another full um, head of garlic. Some broccoli, local. Local broccoli. Try to use local products as much as we can. Some local cauliflower. Carrots. And here I have one large yellow onion that I've already um, cut up. We're going to be using that shortly. Today's protein is some deboned chicken thighs. Um, thighs, the best part of the chicken, without a doubt. It's where most of the flavor in a chicken resides. So we have about a pound and a half of deboned chicken thighs, 16 or so individual pieces. It's going to be our protein today. We're featuring jerk. Um, this is a dry jerk seasoning. Grace Kennedy's uh, Caribbean Traditions family of seasonings. We're also going to be using a, a wet jerk sauce. This is Busher Brown's jerk sauce. Very tasty condiment. We're also going to be using another favorite flavor of mine, tamarind. So this is a spicy tamarind sauce. And we're also going to be using some tomato sauce uh, in the dish that we're going to prepare for you today. We're actually using some yogurt as well, it's just plain yogurt. And we're also going to be using some cooking cream um, towards the end of preparing our dish. So that's the bundle of ingredients we're using today, folks. And we come back. First thing we're going to do is get our chicken thighs seasoned up. Yeah. So we're coming in with just a little salt, maybe a teaspoon, nothing more than that. Um, again, you notice I'm not measuring, right? I'm just cooking by feel. Now I'm going to add about half of the minced ginger that I showed you a little bit earlier on and a similar amount of minced garlic. So we got the minced ginger and the minced garlic that has gone into the chicken along with a little salt. Now we're going to give a liberal dose. I would say this is probably going to end up being about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more of the dry jerk seasoning. We want to get that in there. Yeah. So we got the dry jerk seasoning and this has a great aroma and a great taste. I use it quite a bit uh, when I'm making meals that feature jerk. Now here's a little twist. To that, I'm going to add one um, container of yogurt. Let's go. Yeah, you guys must be saying, what the heck is going on here? Don't worry. I promise you it's going to taste good. Let me add a little bit more jerk to this here yeah, because you know me. I love my spice. Let's get some more jerk in there. Yeah. Alright, now what we want to do is just get all of this worked into the thighs, right? So, just get in. Go ahead. Use your hand. Make sure everything is fully coated. All the salt, all the jerk seasoning, the yogurt. Get this in there fully. And once we have everything incorporated, we're going to set this aside uh, for maybe about half an hour. Just to let everything soak in, marinate properly. And then when we come back, we'll put the whole meal together for you. So come back. Oops, um, I showed you the veggies that we're going to use and I've kind of just prepped them 
uh, ready. We're gonna actually roast these off with some nice uh, aromatic herb. Um, and so what I've done is I've taken two large carrots, wash them, cut the tops off, wash them. You notice I haven't taken off the, the, uh, the skin, I haven't peeled the skin, that's where all the nutrients and all the veggies are. So I've left the skin on. And I'm just gonna give this a nice liberal coating of oil I'm using once again I'm using canola oil so I'm just going to make sure that there's enough oil on the foil um, to make, keep the veggies uh, roasting nicely now to the veggies I'm just going to add some fresh thyme just going to add some fresh sprigs of thyme all along the roasting tray I'm also going to add some rosemary And I'm gonna add just some whole cloves of garlic. You know, I haven't even taken off the skin. And that's just gonna let the re all the flavor from the garlic um, is going to be released once the heat in the oven hits it, right? So here's my fresh garlic. I'm just gonna add a little salt to taste. I mean, I know that the thyme, the rosemary, uh, and the garlic is good flavor. Just gonna add a little bit of salt just for taste. Um, I have my oven on 300 degrees, it's preheated. And I would say that it's gonna take about 25 minutes to half an hour for these vegetables to get all the flavors infused and to roast very nicely and have a lovely, um, not too soft, but not too, too crunchy. Just cook perfectly as far as roasted vegetables are concerned. All right, I'm gonna heat up the oil in my pan and we're gonna do the chicken that I prepared earlier it's been marinating for about half an hour now so see you in a few minutes so we've heated the oil in in our pan uh, again we're using canola oil you can use the oil that you prefer and our chicken has been marinating for a good half an hour and we're now gonna just brown it here in this oil what you want to try and do is not crowd the pan you don't want to crowd it you don't want the chicken you want to keep the pieces separated because you're not really looking to steam this chicken. You're looking to brown it off and uh, make sure it has a nice uh, crisp on the outside and still moist on the inside. Yeah? And you know, the, the technique that we use now, the ingredients that we use here, um, you know, certainly when you season it with the ginger and the garlic, uh, and we use a little bit of yogurt on it as well, you will recognize that from Indian. Uh, cooking. It's regularly used in Indian cuisine, um, certainly in any tikka masala or in most of the chicken dishes that you might get in an Indian restaurant. So there is, and you know, I mean, I love Indian food, and um, you know, I'm incorporating some of the techniques that they use there, but today we're going with um, more. Caribbean style spices if you will because remember now when this chicken has been browned off we're going to be making a sauce that includes jerk and tamarind both very Caribbean and West Indian um, style of flavor so we're going to just turn the heat up on this a little bit so that we can make sure that the chicken is nice and brown and um, I want to say that you probably don't want to do this maybe for more than about three to four minutes on either side. Um, so we're going to let that happen. Turn these. I still have a few more pieces uh, in the marinade which I'll cook as well. And then when we come back after they've all been browned, we'll put our sauce together and finish off the dish. So see you guys in a little bit. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at all of the pieces that have been nicely browned on either side. Got a nice bit of crisp on the outside and I can assure you that inside is soft and juicy. Now there will be lots of um, little burnt bits in the pot, and uh, or in the pan rather, and when we start to build the sauce that we're going to finish our chicken in, we'll make sure to get up all those juicy bits. Coming right back, yeah? Do come. All well, my chicken has been browned off. Now this oil is very, very hot. I'm going to add some butter, about two ounces. Um, let's, you, you're going to get the chance to see exactly how hot this is, but here we go. Yeah, so we're adding the butter to this, right? And the butter is going to help to lift off some of that um, stuff that was stuck to the bottom of the pan. Um, getting the, the evil eye because I was using 
the knife in the pan and I really ought not to be here. So let me get a, a spoon here. Um, we melted the butter, we're lifting up some of those brown bits that were on there. And to this, I am going to add the onion that I cut up, uh, what seems like an eternity ago. So we have the onions in here. We're gonna sweat these down. These are also gonna release some liquid that's gonna help to um, get up all the, those bits of flavor that uh, were, were stuck to the pan. And we're gonna do these onions until they become soft, translucent, and they start to get a nice golden brown color. Now because the oil was so hot, that's not going to take very long. So we're just going to make sure that all the onions get coated in that lovely, all the remnants of that oil and um, the butter that I just added. There's tons of flavor in there already from the chicken that we just browned. And once these onions have been sweated down properly, nice and soft, translucent and brown in color, we're going to come back and add the rest of our ingredients to complete the sauce. So come back. All right, so you can see our onions are nice and sweated down, nice and brown in color. Um, the oil is still nice and hot, that oil and butter uh, mixture combination. I've gotten up all the bits of flavor from the bottom. And what I have here now is the remainder of my minced ginger and garlic, which I'm gonna add here. All of it, just get right in there. Um, we get the minced ginger and garlic, we incorporate that. This is literally going to take about 30 seconds, no more than that, to release all of their flavors into the onions and oil. No more than 30 seconds. Um, once those have released, what we're going to add will be some more of the dry jerk seasoning. Remember, we're using Grace Kennedy's jerk seasoning under their Caribbean. Uh, brands um, series of, of, of powder seasonings. So we have the ginger and garlic in there. Now we're going to go for about two teaspoons of the jerk seasoning and we're going to let that incorporate and that might be a little bit more than two teaspoons but who cares. This is literally going to take a few seconds to be incorporated. No more than that. We're just going to get all of that dry jerk seasoning incorporated wish you guys could smell this, it smells amazing. Alright, so now that we have the aromatics and the dry jerk seasoning in here, what we're going to do now is add the liquid, which is going to make us, bring our sauce down and gather all the flavors that we want. So here is some tomato sauce. Here is some, if I can get it out of the bottle, here is some Tamarind sauce, liberal amounts because that's a lovely flavor, the tamarind. And last but not least, here is some of the liquid jerk sauce. Again, nice liberal amount. Let's incorporate all of these. And we're going to let this cook. You're going to get a, a dark, almost maroon oops almost maroon color a little bit of spillage there don't worry we'll soon clean that up and we're going to let this cook and reduce and all those flavors get incorporated um, this is going to take us maybe about 15 minutes or so maybe less maybe 10, 10 to 15 minutes when we come back we add the chicken and the final piece to bring this lovely dish together soon come back have our sauce it has thickened nicely and I'm now going to re-enter the bits of chicken into the pool. I've reserved them in this bowl and what you're going to see come out is really the goodness that's really going to make this dish taste nice. Mm -hmm. All of that juice coming out. That's the juices from the chicken, yeah? We're just going to add all of our pieces of chicken now back into the sauce. I'm going to make sure they're all nicely coated with the sauce. And to this, as the piece de resistance, the final piece of this puzzle, yeah, we are going to add a little bit of cooking cream. 
So we add some cream, maybe about two tablespoons. Incorporate the cream. And this will give the dish a lovely consistency and temper some of that color that you saw. You're gonna end up with a slightly lighter version of the color of the sauce before we uh, added the chicken and the cream. We're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. Uh, turn the heat up just ever so slightly uh, until we get this in a nice boil. Um, by the time we're done with this, our veggies should be ready and we're going to plate our veggies and this tamarind jerk chicken in a cream sauce. I think I've just come up with a name for it. Uh, we're going to plate the chicken along with our veggies and just finish it with a little garnish of fresh spring onion and cilantro. Soon come back to plate our lovely meal. To get a good look and a listen if you can. These are our boneless chicken thighs in a jerk tamarind cream sauce just simmering down almost ready to be plated um, and we soon come back and show you the finished dish because both Colleen and myself are just waiting to dig in um, and enjoy this soon come we're getting ready to plate my veggies are nice and roasted I'm just gonna plate the veggies on one end of my platter and nicely roasted carrots. I can smell the rosemary, the thyme and the garlic um, smelling really good. Those are my carrots. I got my cauliflower here, cauliflower and broccoli, both nicely roasted. They still have, um, they still have a good bit of crunch, not too soft, but definitely not hard. They're definitely cooked, yeah? So let's just get the veggies in the plate cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot. Um, I'm going to just make sure we try and plate this as nicely as we can. I've got to tell you one thing, boy. You know, if I hear people say, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. This kitchen is hot. Anyway, we're having fun bringing these dishes to you. All right, so there's our veggie medley, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. Now I'm just going to turn this around so that we can get our chicken, um, tamarind jerk chicken in a cream sauce. We're going to just plate that now, right from the right from the pan into the platter. Um, these these pieces of chicken are unbelievably soft and tender. I can guarantee that. They are they're just going to melt in our mouths when we eat them. Colleen can barely hold the camera because she said it just smell too nice and looks even nicer. So this is our jerk tamarind chicken in a cream sauce. Remember we used a lot of ginger and a lot of garlic. Uh, we used jerk seasoning, tomato sauce, tamarind sauce and jerk sauce as well. I'm going to now get as much of this juice as I can on the top and into the platter. We want it to be nice and juicy. And get all the drippings from the pot. Get it all over the chicken. Yeah, here we go. See that rich color? All right, now we're going to just garnish with a couple of scotch bonnets on either end. And we're also going to finish it with some fresh cilantro and some green onion. So Colleen, zoom in on that and let them see it. Here you have it folks. Roasted vegetable medley with boneless chicken thighs in a creamy tamarind and jerk sauce. It's a feast fit for a king. Um, so 
this is Michael Hall at At Home Restaurant saying I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you'll enjoy preparing it. And I know you're going to enjoy eating it when you do. See you again next time. Blessings.